This is Steve from SewingGold.com. Uh, this question was sent to us, actually this little problem was sent to us by a customer named Malcolm. Uh, so Malcolm, this video is for you. Um, this is to, uh, we're going to show you how to take out the tension. Uh, hold on one sec, Jose. Basically what happened with Malcolm's machine, the actual tension uh, came out of the, there's uh, two pieces here. We're going to take the entire tension out. And Malcolm, you're going to want to do this. So you're going to take your screwdriver. I'll hold this. Let's see if you can do it. You got it? Okay. All right, so just leave it. for. Take the screwdriver off for one sec so I can show that. All right, so you see that screw there? You want to loosen that screw. You're going to have to use a shorter screwdriver. And I'm holding this because I don't want this thing to fly out. I mean, it, usually it won't. So basically what happens is, it's. I don't know if it's totally loose. Okay. Okay, so now you got to be careful. Where'd that piece go? Or it didn't come out actually. All right, so on this, you've got what looks like to be like grease. Yeah, I've never actually seen the grease like that before. But basically, inside there, you've got this piece, and then you've got this spring. You've got to make sure that this spring goes back in the right position. Now, this grease, you don't necessarily need it, he's going to clean it off. So like I said, basically when you put this back, you're going to want to make sure that spring goes around that little circular piece. That's the only little hard point. Now, we're going to want to take this apart because his fell apart. Okay, so this this part of the video here is, this is what happened to Malcolm. That screw somehow loosened up. Take that out. Okay, so now put that back in the machine. No, no, no. Put that back in. Just like that. Okay, so... Malcolm, yours, this piece did not come out of yours, okay? And it's hard, it's actually hard to put in by itself, but there we go. So yours looks like that, and this is what came out, and then this little piece on the end. This little piece on the end, you got to make sure, pull, you got to make sure that goes back inside the slot here, okay? And you could do that actually when you're finished putting this entire thing back together. Okay, so this is what Malcolm's looks like. Hopefully you could find that, Malcolm. Um, if you don't find it, it's not vital, but it is sort of important to have in there. It's just so you know uh, the t amount of tension to put when you push the, uh, the tension back in. So we're going to remove this. Now I want to show you the inside of this piece. If you see, there's a little uh, part of the, the tension spring that's sticking out inside the hole there. See that? That goes inside this slot on the uh, tension itself. Okay, so on this post, that little part of the spring inside there, can you point to the spring? Grab the little screwdriver right there and point to the piece inside. That little piece, okay, is going to go inside, okay, that little slot. Okay, so he's going to put these two pieces back together. He's going to try and make sure that that little slot on the post goes on that piece so he's just fiddling around with it. Okay, so once he gets that back, we've got to make sure now that the tension spring has enough pressure on it. So where do you, I mean, there's nowhere I could actually tell you how to feel this, but you basically need to, if you turn, once you have this together, you turn it away from you. Let me, let me give, give me this for one second. Okay, so if looking at this, the slot, you see this, can you point to the slot? Grab the screw, point to the slot. Okay, that spring has to be the, on the back of that slot. See the slot on there? The spring has to be on the back. Now, you may have to move. So if I hold this and take the screwdriver, that'll be easier to show. Put it in the slot there. And then if you turn, like if I'm looking at this and I turn this clockwise, okay, now that tightens the spring because now, push the spring. The spring may be too hard. Okay, and there's no way for me to tell you the exact tension on this, but what I would do is I would put this piece back together, and then how far would you turn it? Just slightly? Yes, yeah, slightly. Okay. So when you I'm put it back straight. together, put it back, to take it apart one more time. All right, so put it back. Okay, now don't move it. Now how far would you turn it? Okay. How much? A quarter turn, a half turn? Oh, quarter. Quarter is enough. Quarter turn. Okay, so he's going to put it back, turn it a quarter turn, and make sure that this is in the back 
of that slot. And then he's going to make sure these things... Hold on one sec, Jose. Now, take your finger off so I can show the edge. The, the, okay, so we're going to make sh try and make sure that this piece is as close to the... that they're flush. So that's the slot. So they're flush together. Okay, and now we're going to tighten that screw. Tighten it a lot. As hard as you can tighten it. Okay, now put the uh, the little pin back inside the back. Okay, and then with that spring, just like that. Okay. Okay, so now we're making sure that that spring goes on that piece inside the machine, and the way he did it, it should go back in properly. Now we're also we want to make sure we don't put the tension too far in to the machine. So what you want to do is you want to lift this the presser foot up and you'll see when you lift the presser foot up up and down you want to make sure that when you lift the presser foot up that it actually releases the tension. And right now is it releasing it all? No. It's better you leave it like leave that. Leave it down? Just tie the screw. Okay. When the, the tension gets stuck. When it stops? Yeah, it stops. Now just tie the screw. Okay. Now this is going to be right. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Listen to Jose. Don't listen to me. Okay, so as you can see, now when I lift up the foot here, okay, I'm going to do that again. I'm lifting up the foot. You see how the tensions release. Okay, now if you put it in too far and you tighten that screw, the tension is going to be open and you're not going to have any control over your tension. You might be turning this knob forever and it's not going to tighten. The other thing I noticed, now, now we've got this pretty much fixed, and this is the position you want your spring in, is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so basically the spring should be in this position. Don't make it too far down or too far up, uh, and then you'll, you'll be able to make sure that the spring is in the right position. Uh, so it looks like it's in around, maybe around 10 o'clock.